So let's say that this sign, uh, we designed this at this, this scale, 12 or 18 by 12, and then a, a customer loved this design and they're like, can you make it four foot long? Uh, so we're gonna end up having a much, much bigger sign and it's not gonna fit into the machine uh, as one piece. So let's talk about how to carve something that large. And the first part is, it's like, okay, we've designed at this scale, how do I get this larger? And we've got certain elements here that were centered. We've got mirrors here. So if I move any of this around or try to make it larger, all of these things are gonna get affected. So in this instance, we design this with basic patterns and then of course this is just text and then we drew the rest or imported this in when you're dealing with basic patterns or elements that you have created yourself we have a tool called make pattern so I'm using my control button to individually select everything that's over here on my carving list and I'm hitting the group so all of this is now in one larger group and I'm going to select that group and I've got this button here called make pattern. So let's take that pattern, put it in our signs folder. Red Lion Pub. Okay, so let's start a new project. So if we want to make this sign four foot long, uh, we're going to need probably a, we'll just go ahead and make it 50 inches long. And then the maximum width that we can put into the machine is going to be 14 and a half inches or so. So let's just round it down to 14 by 50. Let's click OK. OK, so let's click that blue shell, go to our favorites under signs and we saved this as red line pub close that so here is our entire sign but now is one pattern so this is all will be treated just like any other pattern it'll just carve and then we can size it and scale it all together so let's go ahead and scale this up to that four foot size that we talked about so we'll put in 48 inches here that scales the whole thing up and then we want to center this just on the on the center axis so it's centered horizontally here and we're also seeing a much shallower looking piece here it doesn't have quite the the effect that it had so let's push that depth down to probably at this scale probably close down to six six five um, you might even need to do this on a thicker piece of material once you get to doing signs this big. And you can see we're seeing some thinning on the letters. We still need to do our bit optimization as we do on all of our carvings. And we're probably going to need to at least add a medium draft, maybe even a larger draft on, on a sign this, this size. Once you start getting into the much larger scales, those larger drafts and feathers make a lot more sense. I think the medium will probably work just fine. Okay, so this is only showing up as, uh, you know, a little bit on the board here, and I set that at 14 inches. So we can see now that our total dimension of this project is 48 by almost 33. So 33 divided by 3 is going to be 11 inches. Um, we know we can't divide it by 2 because I don't have enough width here. So it looks like if we're going to at this scale, we're going to do this in three pieces. And each section is going to be about 11 inches wide. So let's reset our board. So I could just click anywhere outside of my project on the board. Right click there, go to board settings. So I don't need it to be 14 inches wide, and I don't want to put extra material in here if I don't have to. So let's go ahead and make this, uh, a, we'll probably use like a 1 by 12 or something, which is I think 11 and a quarter. 
let's try to do this all on an 11 and a quarter inch board, which is basically a one by 12. Okay, so this is really uh, a lot simpler than than uh, most people expect it to be. So I'm just gonna move this and I've got my ability to attach here. You're seeing it's attaching to that top edge. So let's actually just right click on this, select attach and attach it to this bottom edge. And we know that we need this to be, each section needs to be 11 inches, right? So let's make each section 11 inches and then we'll save it and upload it and then we'll continue and move on and do the the rest the next two sections so I can take this and remove that attachment and move this to the other side and do the same thing select attach attach it to this edge at 11 inches save this section and upload it then we'll remove that attachment and we'll just center this now on both axes and here's the third section of our piece so we'll save and upload that one as well and then we'll take all three of those as individual files out to the machine carve them each one at a time and then we'll have three sections that we can seam back together perfectly and make our large sign